Hi, I'm Mike Heidebrink, president of Chang Concrete, here for Concrete Network. This is our outdoor living series made from Chang DFRC. Let's get to work and see how these things are made. We've got a project here, it's a table base that I want to talk about um, a variation on this. The original template that you see laid out here describes a table that was wet cast using you know, just conventional concrete, uh, but the walls of this table base were about three inches thick. And the piece stood about 28 inches tall, had a three inch thick tabletop that went on it with a very, very complicated mold to create this curve. Um, it actually requires us to get into plaster forming and fiberglass to create this. Um, but we want to create kind of a low, a low cost version of this and something that has much less weight incorporated into it. So instead of wet casting and creating these three inch thick walls, we're actually going to use the same molds that were used for this, for the, for the wet cast, but we're going to spray casting blend into, that, into those forms uh, to create a three quarter inch, half inch to three quarter inch wall thickness for the same table base. So when we're all done, we'll have a table base that's going to weigh only about 100 to 120 pounds instead of the three to 400 pounds of the original table base. So this is the mold that we're gonna use. I wanna talk a little bit about this first though, because what you see here is a very complex shape and something that would be very, very difficult uh, to build in your shop. Uh, so what we've done here is we've actually rendered this shape in a CAD file and sent it off to a foam fabricator who has a CNC machine. And what they've done is they've used a CNC machine uh, to cut or to route out this shape and then coated the surface with, a, with an epoxy resin to give us a nice smooth casting surface. For this project, we need two of these molds. We're going to spray into this mold, spray into a mirrored copy of it, and then while the concrete is still wet, we're going to stitch this or, or seam these two together. A little bit about the shape here though, um, and the, the design of this. What you've got, when what you have is a table base that's gonna be 27 inches tall. Um, the total diameter here is about 34 inches. And on top of it, a 48 inch tabletop is going to set. Our total height of this table when we're done is gonna be about 28 inches, which is the same as your typical uh, kitchen, kitchen table. The details for this mold can be found online. I'm Mike Heidebrink with Cheng Concrete. Thanks for watching.